So while arguably the biggest move of the 2021 NBA trade deadline week wasn't even a trade, as veteran LaMarcus Aldridge signed with the Brooklyn Nets following his buyout with San Antonio, there still were a number of interesting trades at this year's deadline, including what might have been the biggest one when the Denver Nuggets made the trade for Orlando Magic forward Aaron Gordon. The Nuggets were already a tough team, as they have a 2021 MVP candidate in Nikola Jokic, as well as many other great players on their roster. But after their recent acquisition of Aaron Gordon, this team has been playing rejuvenated and inspired basketball as of late, and it seems like their recent pickup has been what it takes to put them over the edge into the titled contender conversation. What's up guys, SCJ here, and if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a like, it helps out a lot, and if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So last night, the Denver Nuggets ended up getting themselves a nice double-digit win over the Orlando Magic as they won by a score of 119-109 to and now have won five straight games as well as four straight games ever since their newest acquisition, Aaron Gordon, has suited up for the team. Over that stretch, they've beaten some good teams including the Eastern Conference's first-seeded 76ers as well as the LA Clippers and the now fourth-seeded Atlanta Hawks. Last night, Nikola Jokic made NBA history with his 81st double-digit assist game in NBA history, which is the most by any center of all time. It also was Jokic's sixth game of his career with 15-plus assists. No other center since the three-point era began in 1980 has ever recorded one 15-assist game, which shows you just how lethal and versatile the Joker truly is. It's not just about how great the Joker has played, though. As last night, the Nuggets showed just how lethal they can be on any given night as they got multiple good performances from their whole roster as six players scored a double-digit point total, but the players in their starting five are really the ones who shined last night. Jokic had 17, 9, and 16. Murray had 22, 5, 4, and 2. MPJ had 20 and 12. Will Barton had 15, 8, and 4. And their newest pickup, Aaron Gordon, had 24, 7, and 2. Those are crazy numbers that truly show how this Nuggets team can cause problems for their opponents and get a little bit of everything from their entire starting five now. Another reason their win last night was even more impressive is the fact that they did not only win by double digits, which is always nice to do, but they also did that after trailing by 18 points at halftime. So you can honestly never close the door on this Nuggets team, as if you do, they're going to make you pay down the line in that game. Not only that, but the Nuggets starting lineup has played tremendous ever since they made the trade for Aaron Gordon. The Nuggets starting five has outscored their opponents by a large margin when they're on the floor together, and they have the best five-man lineup in the entire NBA since they made the trade. This lineup has had the highest offensive rating, highest defensive rating, and the best net rating of any five-man group in the league over this recent stretch. In terms of some of the traditional stats and such, the Nuggets haven't been top 10 in many of the areas, but they've truly been physical as well as an efficient team ever since making the trade for Gordon. The Nuggets are not top 10 in points per game as they sit in the 11th spot in that area since they made the trade, but they have done a great job of shooting the ball as they have the third best field goal percentage shooting it at 50% and the sixth best three point percentage as they have shot it at 40.5% over this recent run. Then to wrap it up, they've done a great job of rebounding, averaging the fourth most rebounds with exactly 48 per game, and they've been very efficient, like mentioned earlier, with 12.5 plus minus rating, which puts them in the fifth spot over this recent stretch of games. Now, as for why their mediocre scoring hasn't seemed to hurt them, well that would of course be because of how well they've defended, and they've already been a great defensive team this season, but the addition of Aaron Gordon has really brought them to the next level lately. As of late, their opponents are shooting the 10th worst field goal percentage and the 8th worst 3-point percentage since the trade. Fittingly enough, with how great the Nuggets have rebounded the ball themselves, their opponents have grabbed the least amount of rebounds lately also. The Nuggets are also causing their opponents to struggle in the passing game as they've averaged the 3rd lowest amount of assists over this recent stretch also. Then to wrap it up, their opponents have averaged the ninth lowest amount of blocks and the 6th lowest amount of points per game over this recent run as they're holding their opponents to exactly 100 points per game during their last 4 games. Then wrapping up the stats with their defense, they've had the 8th best defensive rating as a team, so that's showing that their non-starters have struggled a bit when on the floor for them. But then once again, going back to their physicality that they've gained ever since acquiring Gordon, their opponents are averaging the 6th lowest amount of second chance points, the 6th lowest amounts of fast break points, and the lowest amount of points in the paint, as their opponents have averaged an insanely low 34 points in the paint per game, which is crazy good for this Nuggets team going forward. 
So while this team isn't perfect, I want to tell you why some of their flaws might not affect them too much when playoff time comes around. So despite the fact that they haven't been crazy good in every single opponent or defensive category, the big thing is they've been dragged down in those areas due to their bench players, which won't be too much of an issue come playoff time as teams' rotations shrink down to eight players or sometimes even seven players primarily when the playoffs start. The other thing is just how efficient their starting five has been ever since they've made the recent trade. The other big thing is just how they can get great scoring from at least five of their players or any of the other guys in their roster on any given night. Over his last 15 games, Michael Porter Jr. has truly been playing on another level, averaging 20.5 points, 8.6 rebounds, and 1.1 assists on an insane shooting of 58.9% from the field and 52.5% from three-point range. Also since February 1st, Jamal Murray has also been locked in, averaging 22.9 points, 5.1 assists, 4.1 rebounds, and a very good 1.5 steals while shooting the ball extremely well with 49-44 and 92% splits, so just narrowly missing out on the 50-40-90 club in that regard. Then their leader and best player, Nikola Jokic, is analytically dominating as he's led the league in player efficiency, win shares, win shares per 48 minutes, BPM, and VORP over the entire season. Then the team has also had Aaron Gordon playing very well since he's arrived in Denver, averaging 14 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block on 64% shooting since he's arrived in Denver, as well as Barton and Morris and a few other players who can come up big for the team in terms of scoring on any given night and also on a consistent basis. So this Nuggets team has been a stat nerd's favorite team to look at analytically as of late and has played really great basketball ever since making the trade for Aaron Gordon. Now the team has a number of flaws like mentioned before, including their free throw shooting and turnovers. The Nuggets have been the 13th worst team in terms of free throw shooting ever since making the trade for Gordon, and they've also given up the 10th most turnovers over this stretch also. Those are two crucial areas of the game, and they will for sure need to make sure they clean that up before playoff time rolls around if they want a legit chance of winning the Western Conference and making it to the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. Never mind actually winning the NBA title for the first time in the franchise's history also. So this Nuggets team has a tremendous starting five, and as of late, they've been the best five-man lineup in the whole NBA. But they're definitely going to need to fix their flaws if they want to make a deep playoff one, as well as improve in some of those areas that they've been just mediocre in as of right now. And getting better production from the bottom half of their bench would be nice also, even though it won't necessarily be extremely necessary come playoff time. But they will for sure want to make sure that those things won't be the team's downfall down the final stretch of the 2020-21 NBA season and in the 2021 NBA playoffs. So this Denver Nuggets team has so much potential, but the team of course does have their own flaws that if they do in fact clean up a bit, they can definitely cause issues for other teams and maybe even become a legit contender to win the Western Conference in the 2021 playoffs. I want to know though what you guys think about the Aaron Gordon trade, this new Nuggets team, or anything having to do with the Denver Nuggets down below in the comment section. Like Mitch before though, if you like the video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with my newest content. Anyway though guys, I'm SCJ and I am out. Peace.